Now to a dramatic rescue in Ypsilanti Township, and it was all because one man refused to let his neighbor die. It happened back in late September when he went running into a home engulfed in flames. Our Pamela Osborne joins us live tonight. Pam, this is an incredible rescue story. It really is, and it actually brought tears to my eyes when we were interviewing DJ. He's the man who was rescued from that fire. He and his wife, they lost everything they owned in that fire, but there was something he said that really stuck out to me. That was the possessions they lost don't mean anything at all. It's all about life, what you do with it, how you live it, and he is alive today because of what his neighbor stepped up to do. It was September 30th. D. Bates was doing yard work at his Ypsilanti home when he heard his neighbors screaming about a fire. You see him here on ring doorbell video looking, then running towards the home. DJ Albert was inside. I walked into the living room and there was a haze of smoke. When he walked into the bedroom, he found the mattress on fire. At first, he thought he could put it out himself. I was just Come, overcome with smoke and flying flames. At this point, he'd been burned. Then darkness set in. I couldn't get out on my own. I've had some strokes, some health issues. Albert says he found a pocket of air on his living room floor right next to the piano. This is where he was lying when Bates smoke. rushed in to help. Front door was open. I heard the guy yelling. I ran in. I had to come back out within five seconds because it was so smoky. After catching his breath, Bates ran back inside, guided only by the sound of Albert's voice growing fainter from smoke inhalation. Found him on the floor and grabbed him. I said, come on, let's go. He said, I can't walk. And I said, all right, hold on. And just, I just pulled him out. Angel from Mercy came in and rescued me from the fire. And I understand that he had come in and was pushed back by the flames and the fire once. And he was outside and he said, I couldn't let this guy die. And he came in and dragged me to safety. His gratitude echoed by officials in Ypsilanti Township who presented Bates with an award at Tuesday night's meeting. The two men who'd never met before that day tell me they're more than friends. They're like family. I mean, how do you thank somebody for saving your life? There's no, we gave him the Zingerman's basket and a bottle of wine. How nice is that, you know? Yeah, you can't, I'll never be able to repay him for his, for his bravery and his heroism. I just thought I did a good thing. I felt like I did something I would want anyone to do for anyone, anywhere, because that's the way the world should be. And it should be. Albert did spend several days in the burn unit at U of M Hospital. He is still recovering, but as you heard there, he is just so incredibly, incredibly grateful to be alive. Reporting live tonight in Ypsilanti, I'm Pamela Osborne local four. You could hear his voice cracking. He was so emotional and and the other gentleman saying, you know, I just did what anyone would do. Not that's not always the case. So what a great not rescue always. story. Thank you, Pam. It's the way the world should be. Yeah.